All right, the comrade. Greetings, you comrade. go what? Get to the point, Sergei. I'm a busy Furon. I have a lead on Project Solaris. You might want to follow up on it. Project Solaris, huh? Okay, I'm listening. I have the name of the researcher in charge of the organic weapons program. His name is Dr. Orlov. And? No, and. That's it. Look, Ivan, let's cut the crap. We both want the same thing, and we can't both have her. True enough. But in this matter, Chujoy, we two are comrades. We both need to uncover the cancer devouring the heart of the Soviet Union. You got me there. But what about Natalia? Natalia is a glorious mare who will suffer no bridle. That is why we desire her. Poetic yet creepy. Okay, so you got a name. Where am I supposed to find this Orlov guy? I have been unable to discover his current whereabouts, but this is a small town. Everyone knows everyone else's business. And I got one of those faces everybody opens up to. Although I doubt Orlov will be in a talky mood. Do what you have to do. Gee, that really means a lot coming from the KGB. Okay, just so there's no confusion, you want me to find Dr. Orlov, right? Exactly. He may have information on Project Solaris. Odachnoy Ochoti, comrade. Ah, yeah. Thanks, smug bastard. Okie dokie. Good luck, comrade. And don't be afraid to get a little rough, hmm? Well, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few Fabergé eggs. Alright, so now we're looking for a doctor. I should probably... Yeah, disguise. What is with all these scientists living out my frozen leg? Conducting strange and mysterious experiments, no doubt. Well, He's not what? helping property values on my shack. Those two just dropped in from the sky. Please let me jump high enough. Oh, Jump on the pipe. Jump over. Yeah. Alright, so where's the scientist then? Uh, group of soldiers. I was being out to northwest of here hunting bears the other night. When I nearly was shooting this crazy scientist, idiot had better be being more careful or is liable to get big brain blown off. Okay, so he's out in the woods. Wonder why. Oh, do I have to take the path? Really? Okay, then. Probably gonna be protected by guards, then, at least. Right? Dead monkeys tell no tales, and I need to pick this one's brain about Project Solaris. Crap. Better save his monkey butt. Okay, so it's turned into protection. Oh, use Gastro to kill protectors? Well, good thing I actually upgraded him. 
Let's let him take out a few of these guys then. Hopefully he doesn't get killed too soon. Plan to get that one. Sweet. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like this actually has some good power for this Zapomatic. Prepare for the next assault. Yeah, not really much I could do for that. I can dispose of bodies, I guess. We will not be coming out, then we will be blowing up cabin. will not be able to be talking then, I am thinking. I'll save that for groups. I believe I saw a mech. Yep. Uh, you know what? I'm having his ion detonator a bit. So actually... Man, I don't know if that was from a glitch or something I actually did. At least destroy the mech. Especially since there's a second one. Need just enough to heal here. Oh no. One more hit and I'm dead. Oh, I've gotten lucky where I've just started recovering health each hit. Now just that big mech. Alright, come on, come on. Wait, it's enough. Nope. Wait, there's no time to prepare for assault? Just immediately? What? How's that fair? Ah, uh, you know what? Let's do this. Hey, that worked. Oh, that worked perfect. There's another mech though. I want to try the burrow beast on there. Does it just really? Thanks. The burrow beast didn't really do much of anything. That thing. Or did just take it, or did teleport? I don't know what's going on here. Kind of lost with that pearl beast. Oh, I guess it keeps spitting it out, maybe? I mean, I think. There, that's down. And eh, we'll just throw anything at it. Dr. Orlov, I presume? How come you don't get cool punctuation like Dr. Go? I don't know what you're talking about. Looks like you had a little KGB infestation. Lucky I was here to exterminate him for you. Oh, 
was you? I'm impressed. Excellent hand-eye coordination. You should try computer game I've been developing in spare time. Games? On a computer? <laughs> You're wasting your time, Doc. So, Doc, you got a sec? I need to ask you a few questions. Oh, is all? I was afraid you were one of alien creatures here to infect me. Listen, aliens don't come any scarier than me. When I infect you, you'll know it. Blaine, suddenly I feel vaguely aroused. <laughs> That's the end of that conversation, Branch. Well, as you can clearly see, I'm no alien. <clears throat> now, uh, about Project Solaris. Ah, uh, Solaris, da. That I know something about. I worked on organic weapons program connected with Project Solaris. But I quit after I saw... very strange things. Define strange. Alien creatures like giant space lobsters infecting humans and manipulating their bodies like giant marionettes. Like that. I feared I might be next, so I started working on weapon to fight them with. It's probably why KGB attacked me. Or they wanted my Broadway soundtrack collection. You actually think the KGB was after your collection of show tunes? Why not? Fiddler first pressing alone worth 40,000 rubles on black market. 40,000? Geez, what is it with these currencies? Who runs your economy, Abby Hoffman? You are just jealous because I have copy of Hair, original off-Broadway soundtrack, signed by Jerome Ragni. I don't even know what the hell that means. This weapon you were working on, uh, does it work? I don't know, I never finished it. Whole thing happened by chance. I was walking to work one day when strange object fell from sky. It was fragment of alien spacecraft. Computer data bank I used to create weapon. An alien artifact with data on the blisk. Will wonders never cease? Duh, and if you found it, perhaps you could use it to defeat creatures. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the picture. Where's this data thingy now? Should still be in the research facility in Gorodok Nauki. Um, uh, science town. Catchy. I guess I better head over there and find it before the Krabbies do. Take care. Facility is well guarded. Good luck, Tovarish. Uh, what did you say name was? Uh, Kuryakin. Uh, Ilya Kuryakin. Nice to meet you. Nice. A nice fake name. I I've got to know. I am hearing someone is putting man on moon. But I'm not believing. I think he's broadcast from fake set in TV studio in Newark. Yeah, but statements like that that I just love. The fourth wall breaks there. Whether it's conspiracy theories or what's actually happened. Or cliches in the game. That's part of the charm that just makes this game so dang awesome. And that guy saw me. That's whatever. What in the world is... Uh, okay, I won't question. I'll just roll with it. Why is research facility needing electricity to operate? It has nuclear reactor for power right there on premises. Morons. That's right, I can't use the free love while I um, have a human body disguise. Uh, use chemicals to kill humans. The research facility in town would be a great place to work. If we're not for Svenja guards watching day and night like, like hawks who are having really big rifles. 
needing paper clips, but I'm not finding any. In fact, I'm not finding any. Destroy the metal crates. Scientists are only one who's knowing where anything is kept around here. And two, hopefully. Yep, actually, isn't this the place I had the uh, had to do the distraction at? I think so. I just need to kill one more. So. Alright, now I can get out of it. Oh, uh, this one. Don't let Uh, do I know when I get it then? Or. That broke. None of the others did. Oh, oh, oh crud. Ooh, a new data core. Nice. Mission being the comrade. What? W60 came in from the cold? KGB definitely apprehend thief. Heist at nuclear power plant undeniably foiled. A delicious boiled potato and, cr and cabbage lunch at the nuclear power plant has interrupted was interrupted today when a corrupt traitor burst through the skylight shouting down with the proletariat. The treacherous subversive was absolutely tackled by nuclear engineer Ivan Ivanovich. Sorry, Ivan Ivanovich. The miscreant, who according to all witnesses, was indubitably fully human and not green, did not evade capture without question. The turncoat smashed through the skylight of the nuclear power plant and did not run amok throughout Science Town. He was definitely fully contained at the plant. All sources confirm that he did not target a container and certainly never absconded with its contents. Ivan Ivanovich, a very real person not remotely invented 20 minutes ago, empirically stated that it was impossible for anyone to have escaped Science Town, especially not with valuable information of the extraterrestrial variety. Science Town residents asked to look out for diminutive, angry green man. Missing data core. Contact Katrina Galafria Borislava, if found. And an actual picture of crypto. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a bit of odd jobs here, but we'll do those after we finish all the missions here, just since I know there's at least one more area. At least. Same. 